Right, let us continue with photoelectric effect experiment. Okay, uh, before we continue with this photoelectric effect experiment, uh, I want, I just want to uh, summarize again about this um, energy of one photon. Okay, you learn that energy of one photon is e equal to hf. So we can actually imagine like this. Uh, like this is uh, the ray for, what is this ray for? Huh? Uh, this is the ray for, let's say, gamma uh, x-ray. Okay, this x-ray has how many photons? Uh, it has how many photons? It has uh, it has uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Uh, here you have 6 photons. Okay, so 6 photons. Each of these photons has how much energy? Uh, each of these photons has E equal to HF or E equal to HC over lambda energy. Uh, so we can say uh, each of these photons, uh, it has... Um, uh, HF energy, HF, 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 uh, HF, HF, HF of energy. Uh, so we can say that um, uh, energy of this X-ray, energy of this X-ray uh, for this light, which contains only six photons, uh, it is uh, we can say uh, n is the numbers of photon. N is the number of photon. So we can say it has a uh, N, uh, N H F uh, of energy. Uh, it has N H F of energy. Yeah, or N times H F. Uh, N times H F of energy. Uh, so uh, this this energy of this X ray is uh, N H F. Uh, each of photon is one H F. So you have since you have six photons, means you have uh, this X ray is. Um, this X-ray is 6 HF of energy. This X-ray, uh, this, this, uh, this beam, this beam of light, this beam of, beam, beam of radiation is the total energy for this beam is 6 HF. You understand? Uh, 6 HF. And how to calculate energy for each photon? Huh? Uh, I just want to write again. HF is the... Uh, HF is the energy for uh, one photon. Okay, HF is just energy for one photon or one particle or one quantum. Uh, one particle only, the smallest particle. The smallest particle of light is photon. The smallest particle of light is photon. The smallest particle of radiation is photon. Uh, the smallest particle is a uh, contain one quantum of energy, which is HF. So this X-ray, sorry, uh, so this X-ray has a uh, six HF of total energy. Uh, so how to calculate energy for each photon? Uh, so we use the frequency of. Uh, remember, use the frequency of the X-ray. Uh, this uh, energy for one photon. Energy for one photon. Uh, yeah, energy for one photon, which is uh, HF. So, yeah, just uh, drag this oh, uh, this below. Okay, uh, sorry for delay. Um, yeah, energy for this the whole ray yeah, is uh, six HF. But energy for one photon is HF. So, how to calculate energy for each photon in this X-ray? Yeah, this is the X-ray. Yeah? This is the X-ray. Uh, how to calculate the uh, energy for one photon for one particle for one particle in X-ray? Uh, this HF use the frequency of uh, X-ray. Uh, find the frequency of X-ray, or you also can use the formula HC over lambda. HC over lambda. Uh, the lambda find the wavelength for the X-ray. Uh, okay. So you just substitute the value of wavelength, wavelength for X-ray. You can find in Wikipedia. Yeah, find this value of uh, wavelength. Find this value of wavelength in uh, of X-ray in Wikipedia. Cup, uh, substitute into it. Uh, speed of light, Planck's constant H. Then you can find energy for one photon of X-ray. It's just that easy. Okay. Uh, of frequency of X-ray, just put inside. Uh, you can find the energy for one photon. Uh, Alright, 
So now that's all about. Uh, so this one has six HFR. Okay, now I want to explain about photoelectric effect experiment. Okay, done by Einstein. Now this is found by Einstein, and he won the Nobel Prize for for this experiment. Okay, he won a Nobel Prize for um, success, successfully prove something in this photoelectric effect experiment. Yeah, by Albert Einstein. Who is Albert Einstein? Uh, this is the one. Yeah, uh, this uh, well known Albert Einstein. All right. Okay. So, okay, he he got Nobel Prize not for the theory of relativity e equal to mc square, but I, Albert Einstein got the Nobel Prize for this experiment, photoelectric effect experiment. Okay, this experiment has proved one very important property of light, which proves the particle property of light. Uh, actually, not just the light. Remember. Uh, we are talking about electromagnetic radiation. We not just talk about visible light. Yeah, we not just talk about visible light only. It also it also talks about electromagnet or other electromagnetic radiation. Uh, it's like uh, radio wave, like X ray. Uh, so this experiment has proved the particle property of all the electromagnetic radiation including the radio wave and x-ray so this electromagnetic radiation incident is not just for the visible light yeah it's not just for the visible light it include all the uh, it also include the uv the infrared all those uh, all the visible light okay it include all those radiation understand uh, so all this radiation exists in particles. Uh, so do you know that uh, photoelectric effect is very important for is very important for the solar energy. Uh, solar energy. Uh, so solar energy. Yeah. So because of photoelectric effect experiment, today we can harness the energy from the sun. Yeah. We can harness the energy from the sun. Ah, harness and energy from the sun, yeah. So solar energy is because of photoelectric effect experiment. So the Albert Einstein won the Nobel Prize for that. Okay, so light behave as particle. Ah, particle means like this lah. Ah, you see, light behave like particle. Do you see that? Light come in particle. Ah, uh, so ah, uh, let's look. Yeah, look at this one. Yeah. So. Uh, you see, this is a metal surface. Metal surface, we know that metal, why is it called a metal? Because it can conduct electricity, right? Why it can conduct electricity? Because it has many free electrons. Uh, it has many free electrons. Uh, it has many free electrons on the surface. It must use a metal. Only the metal has free electrons. Okay? I cannot use a non-metal. So, uh, photo, what is mean by photoelectric effect? Okay, what is mean by photoelectric effect? Photoelectric effect is defined as the emission of electron from the surface of a metal when the electromagnetic radiation light of higher frequency strike the surface. Ah, so you see, uh, it is the emission, emission of electron. Okay, A electron is being emitted, ejected uh, from where? From a metal. From a metal must have a metal because only the metal has the free electrons. Only the metal has free electron. Yeah, non metal don't have. Uh, when uh, the radiation, a radiation, not not just a visible light. This radiation can be uh, X ray or gamma ray. Yeah, of higher frequency. Uh, must have a certain frequency. Higher frequency strike the surface. Uh, this frequency. Uh, remember, this frequency depends on type of light. Uh, so, electron can only be ejected when you use the right type of light. Uh, yeah, must use the right, the right type of light. Uh, maybe, maybe ultraviolet. Uh, maybe I can say. Um, only ultraviolet can uh, eject electron, can eject the electron, but the infrared cannot, cannot eject electron. Ah, so must use the right type of light. Not all light. 
we, we can say uh, in other words we can say uh, not all light can eject not all radiation not all not all electromagnetic radiation can eject uh, yeah some radiation cannot eject like infrared cannot eject yeah it depends on the certain uh, uh, whether can eject or cannot eject it depends on the work function yeah it depends on the metal it depends on the energy of the photon we will discuss about this later yeah about this phenomenon of uh, photoelectric effect whether can eject or cannot eject uh, this is the one we have uh, we call a work function threshold frequency threshold wavelength uh, some type of light can eject some type of light cannot eject uh, like this one yeah this one can be ejected with maximum kinetic energy this one no electron can be ejected so we will study about this later yeah very interesting okay um let's look at this huh? so to to have this photoelectric effect you must use the correct type of light uh, not all light, not all light can eject the electron. Certain type of light can eject electron. Uh, must have um, uh, high energy enough. Yeah? must have high energy enough. Yeah, because uh, this frequency, it uh, because we know that each energy has photon, uh, and uh, each uh, no each uh, photon has certain amount of energy, which is uh, each photon, each photon is. Uh, e equal to hf uh, energy this is energy for one photon uh, so uh, some some and some uh, photon has um, uh, too little of uh, energy uh, we can say uh, and one more thing you must you must know is uh, only only uh, one photon can only eject uh, only eject Only eject uh, one electron. Can only eject one one electron. Ah, so you have a one well, one photon can only eject one electron. You cannot say uh, one photon can eject two electron. No, it cannot. The photon uh, cannot separate the energy into two. Uh, that's why it proves the particle property of light. You understand or not? Like you see this one. Like you see this one. How many uh and how many HF it has? How many HF it has? How many photon it have? It has six photons, isn't it? Uh, this this light it has six photons. Uh, six photons. So if the energy is enough, energy of each photon is enough, yeah, enough energy. Uh, so how many electron photo electron can be ejected from the metal surface? Uh, you will have six electron ejected. Uh, six electron ejected. Yeah, I'll try to draw the electron. Uh, six electron will be ejected. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ah, uh, so six electron will be ejected. Uh, okay. Ah, uh, anyway, how many you have? Uh, this is uh, only five photons. Sorry, sorry, I'm wrong. Yeah, this is only uh, this is only five photons. So if only five photons coming, so how many electrons can eject? Only five lah. Uh, so only only five photoelectron ejected. Uh, so so you have one, two, three, four, five. You have five photons coming. So you have one, two, three, four, five. Five photoelectrons will be ejected. One photon only eject one electron. So uh, five photon. Uh, five photons uh, can eject. Uh, come on, please stop. Uh, can eject uh, five electrons. Uh, okay. So you can you see wave actually is particle? Can you see wave actually is particle? You can count the number of electrons. Uh, by the number of photon incident, you can count. So you can count. Yeah, you can count. You see, you can count. You can have the count prop. Uh, yeah, can, you can count how many electrons. You can count how many. You can count how many photons coming. You can count how many photons coming. You can count how many electrons coming. 
So this means light is a particle. It's not coming like wave, you see. It's not coming like wave. Uh, it's not, it's not, uh, the, it's not like the light. Uh, the light comes like a wave. Uh, then how do you count how many electrons ejected? I'm going to count how many electrons uh, ejected. How many? Uh, you cannot know, isn't it? You cannot know how many electrons ejected if the light is a wave. Uh, so because this is this doesn't happen. This doesn't happen. Uh, so photoelectric effect can prove by Einstein can prove the particle property of light. Yeah, it can count how many photons incident and count how many electrons ejected. Uh, so this is a particle property. Okay. Ah, uh, all right. Um. So remember, one photon only eject one electron. It cannot eject more than. Um, it cannot eject more than one electron. You cannot say um, uh, one photon uh, eject uh, has enough energy. Oh, maybe this photon has a lot of energy. It can eject uh, two electron. No. Uh, we also cannot say uh, uh, two photons. Me, since uh, one photon does not have enough energy to eject electron, so two photons combine. Uh, maybe the electron, maybe the electron wait for some while, absorb two photon. It uh, one it, one photon not enough energy to eject the electron. Maybe he, he absorb two photon before it eject. Uh, two photon eject uh, to eject one electron also cannot. Uh, also cannot. Okay. You cannot say the one, uh, one, maybe the photon not enough energy, so the one electron absorb two photon to eject cannot. Ah, uh, yeah, or uh, maybe uh, one photon has too much energy, uh, it uh, one shot eject two electron also cannot. It only always one to one, always, always one to one. One photon only eject one electron. Ah, okay. Ah, that's it. Ah, that's it for the first video. Yeah. Uh, coming for the second one. Okay. Bye.